Ashadu, 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 Brazil, recorded in 2010, as many as 35,000 Brazilians declared themselves to be followers of Islam at the Brazilian Geographical and Statistical Census Institute. How could that be? Let's look at the explanation. The Tatuape region, on the eastern side of Sao Paulo, Brazil, has just built a house of worship which has just been inaugurated and is attracting attention. A large plaque with a picture of Jesus is displayed in front of it, but it turns out this building is an Islamic center. A preacher who is a native of Brazil named Edmar Candido da Silva leads this Islamic center. He was born a Christian, but became a Muslim 12 years ago. In 2009, in his efforts to get closer to God, Edmar discovered the faith that is part of his life today, namely Islam. It was recorded that in 2010, as many as 35,000 Brazilians declared themselves to be followers of Islam at the Brazilian Geographical and Statistical Census Institute. In recent years, the religion has gained followers on the outskirts of Sao Paulo with no ties to the Arab community. After changing religions, a process Muslims call repentance, Edmar faced resistance from his family. We usually tell people who repent that they will face difficulties, because Brazilians have many doubts about what Islam is and still know it as the religion of the Arabs, he said. Brazil's Muslim population ranges from 1 to 1.5 million people, according to 2014 data. Brazil, with a population of around 190 million, is the country with the largest Catholic population in the world. Even so, almost all over Brazil there are mosques, some of which are funded by Muslim countries, such as Saudi Arabia and countries in the Gulf region. Compared to other cities in Brazil, the pulse of Muslim community life and the presence of Islam is most felt in the city of Braz. Muslims in Brazil originated from slavery in the country. Those whose freedom was taken away came from Africa who arrived in the 18th century. They grew into a large community to this day. No less than 1.5 million Muslims now practice their faith there. The earliest traces of Islam in Brazil are known to be the presence of the Hausa and Yoruba Muslim communities. They spread Islam on the plantations when they first arrived in Brazil. Muslim Africans are referred to as male which is related to the word email, which comes from Mali, the heart of the Islamic Mandinka Empire under Mansa Musa. Male comes from Hausa Malam, which comes from the Arabic word Mulan which means teacher. This word is important, because many African Muslims are highly educated. The Islamic foundation of focusing on education translated into male scholars' ability to take charge of the struggle for freedom from slavery. The history of Muslims in Brazil begins with the importation of African slave labor into the country. Brazil acquired 37% of all African slaves traded. More than 3 million slaves were sent to this country. Starting around 1550, the Portuguese began trading African slaves to work on sugar plantations. Scientists claim that Brazil received more enslaved Muslims than anywhere else in the Americas. After the revolt of the Afro-Brazilian Muslim community, the next period of Islam in the country came from the immigration of Middle Eastern and Southeast Asian Muslims. About 11 million Syrian and Lebanese immigrants, 
mostly Maronite Christians, live throughout Brazil. The largest concentration of Muslims is found in the Sao Paulo region. The Muslims community in Brazil continues to live and has a good command of the Arabic language. Based on a survey conducted by the Brazilian Arab Chamber of Commerce or its abbreviation ABCC, of all Arabs and Arab descendants in Brazil, those who adhere to Islam have the highest level of mastery of Arabic, namely 82%. Then, only 10% of Arab Catholics and 4% of Evangelical Arabs or conservative Protestant Christians speak Arabic. The ABCC shows that 6% of Brazil's population of around 11.6 million people are Arab or of Arab descent. This survey was conducted by IBOP Intelligentsia and H2 or Pesquisas Avancadas, and published in July 2020. Anthropologist and professor at the University of Sao Paulo, USP, Franciracy Campos Barbosa, believes the mastery of Arabic among Muslims is due to religious reasons. As a Muslim, Barbosa coordinates the Anthropology in Islamic and Arabic Contexts group at the USP campus in Ribeiro Preto, Sao Paulo. Barbosa explained that the five daily prayers in Islam are performed in Arabic, and this language is used in celebrations in mosques. In fact, Brazilian converts are required to pray in Arabic, and most of them learn Arabic in their mosques. I have friends who speak Arabic very well. They are Brazilian, but they speak fluent Arabic and they read the Quran in Arabic, said Barbosa, who is an Arabic student. Apart from that, the sermon during Friday prayers is usually delivered by the Imam in Arabic. Barbosa said some mosques in Brazil present sermons only in Arabic, some provide translations into Portuguese, and in some mosques some sheikhs speak both Brazilian Portuguese and Arabic. According to Barbosa, Muslims gain blessings by learning to recite their prayers in Arabic or for example by teaching someone the Quran. The adherents of Islam eventually included Arabic expressions in their lives, even though they were not Arabs or their descendants. Besides the relationship between Islam and Arabic, other factors explain the fact that Muslims do most to keep the Arabic language alive in Brazil. One reason is that they immigrated more recently than Christian Arabs, so, from this discussion it can be predicted that in the future Islam will increase there. And it will become more advanced, just like other countries that adhere to the largest number of Islamic religions.